Exakt så ser ni. Um, I'm Felipe Bustasiera and I'm a filmmaker and I'm one of the artists with the Culture Collective at the Governor Bath Community Trust. A little bit your left. Yeah. yeah. I work predominantly in documentary. Um, yeah, you're gonna need some B-roll to cut this. I'm drawn to projects that where I'm going to learn something personally and often projects where I'm not really sure exactly how I'm going to be able to tell that story accurately or appropriately but I think I find projects where I think the people involved and the themes which will always be something I'm quite inspired by will help me get over my doubts learn you know teach me something new and through the process I think will become a better film that I could think of initially. One of the things I enjoy most about filmmaking, at least the way I've got to know it, is because it takes so much time and because there's so much research and I get to know people quite well, it creates a community around the project itself. My first film, which was about solidarity between Chile and, and Scotland, actually was one of the big things to make me feel quite at home in Scotland. Now, you know, it's very much the stories I'm interested in will be stories I'm trying to find more answers, try and find more peace from what I lived through as a kid, as a, as a son of, a, of an exile. I first heard of Govern Hill about 10 years ago when I made a film actually in the Govern Hill bath. The bath was still shut, there was no electricity. And, and at the time, I think we were trying to make this sort of like surf rock dance film, which was very much part of me figuring out how to make short films and in language and I think I tried different genres at the time. I think that was my introduction to Govan Hill and I've kept in touch with a lot of people who were involved in that film. Then just before the pandemic I moved to Glasgow and moved to the south side and I suppose because of these relationships that we're creating then a lot of my friends live here it just seemed like a natural place to come and live and then the opportunity to work directly with the bath came up um, so it was it was a no-brainer. I've stayed in another place around Scotland uh, that I enjoy but I think Govan Hill I felt immediately like a home more than more places. The project I'm working on now for the Culture Collective, and I'm still at the research stage now, but it's very much kind of looking at the history of the south side of Glasgow through personal accounts that we're finding at the Mitchell Library from local historians and kind of hearsay that's been carried over the years. It's kind of skirting the line between documentary reality and fiction. So we're looking at loads of personal accounts of people who live in the same tenements from the moment they were built up until now and through that get a sense of how much the, the neighborhood has changed but also contributed to what the South Side is today. But the interesting thing is like in the terms of you know where uh, the people I'm talking to this is a lot of work that's been carried out often by academic or people from you know kind of upper class upper middle class and those immigrant working class voices are not really present but they exist a little bit kind of scattered, scattered through all these works. So I think this project in some ways, I'm tr we're trying to see if we can kind of unify all these voices so that the story of the South Side can be told um, as it should really from the perspective of people who actually lived here. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs>